I'm Laura Lee Lewis, Miss Mississippi 2016, and I want you to join us for Miss Mississippi 2017 live broadcast Saturday, June 24th. My title is Miss William Carey University, and I go to William Carey University, and I love it. So, and my hometown is Tombsuba, Mississippi, which is really close to Meridian, Mississippi. My family is a special family, actually, because I have adopted siblings, many adopted siblings, and I love them to death, and we're just a really happy family, and we do a lot of fun things. We always have movie nights where we eat popcorn and pizza, and it's, I love my family. My name is Abigail Walters. I'm Miss Hines Community College, and I go to Hines Community College at the Nursing Allied Health Center. My family is very close. We do a lot of things together, especially around the holidays. We have game night, and we just have a fun time, and it's just, we are so close, and so close-knit that we can be there for each other whenever it is. I'm Caitlin Brown, Miss Pontotoc Ridge. I go to Pearl River Community College, but I'll attend the University of Mississippi in the fall, and I'm from Rich in Mississippi. I'm Miss University of Southern Mississippi. I currently attend graduate school at the University of Southern Mississippi and I'm originally from Picayune, Mississippi. I am Miss Tupelo. I am from West Point, Mississippi and I attend the University of Mississippi. I am from a family of four. We are uh, from a small town, West Point, Mississippi, and we are very adventurous. We are huge Marvel fans. We love comics and anything to do with superheroes, so I think that really makes us super interesting. <laughs> well, I am Miss Hartland. I am from the University of Southern Mississippi, and my hometown is Gulfport. And a little bit about my family is that I have a little bitty chihuahua. She just turned 15, and I pretend she's my sister because she is my only sibling. I am an only child. My title is Miss Washington County 2017. I go to Delta State University and I'm from Rolling Fork, Mississippi. Um, I have a younger sister who is 21 and I, our mom and dad both live in Rolling Fork. So we're a small family but we're close. I am Anne Elizabeth Byes. I'm actually um, from Vicksburg, Mississippi. I am a junior at Mississippi State University studying communications, specifically broadcasting and public relations. Um, I'm from a very big family. I have three brothers, all very um, sports oriented. We're a big we're a, we're a big team when it comes down to it. But I love to dance. I'm a very passionate dancer, and so um, we're a. I just I, I really enjoy uh, getting able to. Um, mesh all those things with my family. My title is Miss Warren County 2017. I'm from Mississippi College, or I go to Mississippi College. I'm a junior there. I'm from here, Vicksburg, Mississippi, and my family, where we have three, uh, I have two other siblings that are in college as well, and um, my mom and dad live here. My mom's a music teacher and my dad's a lineman. I am Miss Red Carpet City. I go to Mississippi State University. I'm from Taylorsville, Mississippi, and I have a very small family. I'm an only child and I grew up in a small town. My title is Miss Pride of the South. I go to the University of Southern Mississippi. Um, I, I love Hattiesburg. It's the home of my uh, university, so I love it. My family, I have a very big family. I have three siblings, um, one of them who has special needs. That's why I chose my platform, the Muscular Dystrophy Association. So very family oriented. My name is Kennedy Sanders. My title is Miss Greenville and I attend the University of West Alabama. My name is Leah Gibson. I am Miss University and I'm from the University of Mississippi. My hometown is Starkville, Mississippi. My name is Emily Cockrell. I'm Miss Lee County. I am currently enrolled at Northwest Mississippi Community College. I live in Coma, Mississippi. My family has been so incredibly supportive of me. They have been there every step of the way, cheering me on, whether it be at small gatherings in our community or me being on stage and them out there cheering my name. They're absolutely incredible and I honestly couldn't do this without them. My name is Mia Hall. I'm Miss Hattiesburg from Meridian, Mississippi, and I go to the University of Southern Mississippi. Asia Branch, Miss All America City, Boonville, Mississippi. I attend the University of Mississippi. My name is Madeline Overby, and I'm Miss Delta Blues. It's actually my first year here at the Miss Mississippi pageant. I go to school at the University of South Alabama, where I'm studying biomedical sciences. Um, I come from an amazing family. I come from a military background, which is actually what my platform is based off of. I have a little brother who's 10 years old who's actually adopted, and he's absolutely my best friend, and I'm just honestly the luckiest girl in the world. I'm Miss North Central. Mississippi 2017, Emily Tingle. I'm from right here in Vicksburg, Mississippi. I'm a freshman at the at Mississippi State University, and I have a little sister and a little brother. 
My name is Charlie Ann Nix. I'm Miss DeSoto County. I attend the University of Mississippi and I'm from Batesville, Mississippi. So a little bit about my family. Well, my grandfather was actually a senator for the state of Mississippi for 16 years. So this is kind of me following in his footsteps with representing our state. Um, my mom is a public school educator. And so through that, I do have a love for public school education. And that's something that I take very seriously, especially while continuing my own education. I'm Maggie Schultz and I go to East Central Community College. I live in Pelahatchie and my family, they're real loving and they always take care of me and go to the ends of the world for me and I love them so much. I am Grace Ann Kennedy, Miss Magnolia. I am from Hatley. I'm going to go to college at Etiwamba Community College. My name is Brooke Bullock. I'm Miss Jones County. I go to the University of Southern Mississippi and I'm from Petal, Mississippi. I'm Lizzie Wicks, Miss Pine Belt from Ocean Springs, Mississippi. My name is Mackenzie Smith. I'm Miss Roland Hills. I'm from Philadelphia, Mississippi, and I go to the University of Mississippi. I'm Sydney Slocum, Miss Heritage. I attend Mississippi State University. I'm from Olive Branch, Mississippi. Joy Addison, Brandon, Mississippi, University of Mississippi. I'm Casey Pearson. I'm Miss Amory. I'm from Amory, Mississippi, and I attend the University of Mississippi. I have an older sister and then my mother and my father, and I have a lot of extended family as well. I come from actually a pretty large extended family, so there's always a lot going on. I'm Meredith Thomas from Kosciuszko, Mississippi. I attend Mississippi State University. I'm Mary Margaret Heyer. I'm Miss Southern Magnolia. I attend the University of Mississippi, and I'm from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. My name is Annalise Smetter. I'm Miss Mid-South. I'm from Madison, Mississippi, and I attend the University of Kentucky. I'm Allison Judge, Miss Heart of Dixie 2017. I'm a senior at Millsaps College. I'm from Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Tell us why do you want to be the next Miss Mississippi? A couple of reasons. One, the scholarship money is a huge um, addition for me. I am working on my master's degree currently, and I have hopes of um, pursuing my PhD one day. So the scholarship money would mean the world. Um, it, it would mean the opportunity to be able to do that. Um, also, I've, I've just recently set my platform as mental health, um, which is something I'm very passionate about. I've had, you know, my struggles with mental health, mental illness in the past. And so my mission and my goal um, is to not only share my story, but to get others to share theirs as well. Um, and so that's what I'm most looking forward to. <laughs> Scholarships are extremely important to me. I have gone several semesters without a laptop or without being able to have the proper utensils or items that I need to help me study and further my education and by participating in the Miss America organization and I know that by participating in Miss Mississippi I'll definitely be able to earn the scholarships that I need to progress and be successful. I would love to be the next Miss Mississippi because there's a scholarship that is coming along with the title and a scholarship would mean the world to me because I would love to work on my master's in elementary education and learn more about the ed education system and what's being taught in the public schools. And I would also love to promote my platform, Foundation for the Future Generation, to all the kids in Mississippi. I would like to be the next Miss Mississippi because it will be a great way for me to help Mississippi through my platform. My platform is about reducing childhood obesity and I know that is a really big growing problem in Mississippi and I would love to be able to help and reduce that issue in our state. I want to be the next Miss Mississippi because I've invested so much in this state. I've been involved with the state in numerous aspects ever since I was in middle school and I'm just really attached to my hometown. I've represented it on a national level many times and I just have so many ideas and so many changes and so many um, people that I want to reach and so many people that I want to touch through my platform, Drive Smart, raising highway safety awareness and just some experiences that I've gone through as a young adult in this, in this society. So I really want to be Miss Mississippi because I know that I can make a difference and I know that this is the perfect platform for me to really take a stance and help people. The scholarship money honestly means a lot, but it's not everything. I will be continuing my education out of state here in the next year or two, and it's definitely going to do a lot of work for me, but again, it's not everything, and so it's just a plus to everything that comes with it. My platform is empowering children of incarcerated parents. I chose it because I am one of those people, and I feel that this is an important and very effective way to give the assistance and the needs to these children who are struggling and to help them relieve their pains that they feel. 
I want to be the next Miss Mississippi because I want to reach out and help others who have dealt with hardships in their life. I want to help them become overcomers as I have, and I want to help them paint a brighter future for themselves as I have through my um, platform, Art with Heart, Helping Children Heal through creativity. It's taken so much of a financial burden off of my parents, off of myself, uh, in paying for school. So every semester when the Miss Mississippi organization sends that scholarship money to my account, it just, it lifts that huge burden off and you're able to, you know, allot those dollars somewhere else that you might need them for school or even for Miss Mississippi preparation. Yeah. The Mississippi Oregon Re uh, Recovery Agency, Mora, is my platform and my mother actually um, was able to give my grandmother a kidney about five years ago and so it's uh, a platform that is very near and dear to my heart and I hope that all Mississippians one day will be organ donors. I want to be the next Miss Mississippi because I want to have this opportunity to connect with people across my state and really um, expand the platform of the Miss America organization and show them that these women really have the ability to make a difference in the world and be a change that they want to see in the world and also promote the um, Children's Miracle Network. I am, do go to the University of Mississippi and scholarship dollars would mean I can further that to a whole nother level. I want to get my master's degree in speech pathology and then maybe even get my doctorate so it means I can further my education. Growing up, I've always been fascinated with Miss Mississippi and Miss America, the way they're, they carry themselves, their poise, their grace. Um, being the next Missis Mississippi, if I could mentor kids, you know, promote my platform to the best of my ability that I could, then that would just be such an honor to me. The main reason that I would like to be the next Miss Mississippi is because of my platform. I feel like it can help so many people. Um, it's called Operation SOS, Save Our Servicemen, and it's geared towards information about post-traumatic stress disorder. A lot of veterans struggle with this when they come back from war. And so it just bridges the gap between civilians and veterans with things like fireworks, putting them into post-traumatic stress um, episodes, or maybe loud children screaming. Just builds awareness in the community. The scholarship means a lot to me because I plan to go to pharmacy school. I'm a freshman right now, so I've got a lot of years to go. So that's a lot of debt that I'm going to rack up. So the scholarships that this organization provides are huge. My platform is SCORE, and it's an organization whose primary goal is to promote uh, leadership and mentorship among athletes through community service. So I started it just as something that I was passionate about. I loved watching athletes, and I really just wanted to be someone that encouraged them on and off of the field. The Miss America organization is the um, top cash scholarship um, donor to women across the nation and I think that's amazing but that's only the part of the package for me. I think that um, the growth that you go through as an individual throughout this experience is the winning prize truly. Miss Mississippi is such an honored and distinguished position in Mississippi. Of course I would be so happy if I got to present that title, but more than anything, I really want to bring my platform back to Mississippi. As we know, Millsaps is not cheap, <laughs> so to be able to afford a quality education, the Miss Mississippi organization has been very important for that. My platform, Art with Heart, Helping Children Heal Through Creativity, is about reaching out and helping others and encouraging them to not stay in the hard times in their life. I want to help them overcome those things as I have. Growing up, I haven't had an absent father, and de dealing with that, we went through a lot of bullying and things that can just put you down. And what I want to do is I want to reach out and help everybody become confident in themselves. I love being a part of the Miss America organization and by participating in the Miss America organization I've grown so much as a person, I've gained so much confidence and I've gained the confidence to be able to step outside of my comfort zone and take risks. I've been able to recently, I've actually been to South Korea. I studied there for about three months and my major is actually Spanish. So I've actually studied in Spain twice, which was an awesome experience. And so if it wasn't for the Miss America organization, I am positive that I would not have been able to do that. It means a lot for me because I'm about to go into getting my master's and when it comes to the master's programs they don't really give out as many scholarships for that so for me getting scholarships in any way that I can that is really helpful. The scholarships at this pageant have really helped me to further my education and to really just go to school and not have to worry about how you're going to pay for tuition or how you can get extra money to buy the books that you need so that you don't have to worry about the stress of the financial burden that college brings with it. You can strictly focus on schoolwork and just furthering your education and being a better person and a better individual. I want to be Miss Mississippi because I think it's important to have a girl that truly can be a role model, a leader, someone that can show motivation, dedication, and hard work. And I believe I 
possess those qualities and honestly any girl here possesses those qualities but it's just important to be able to look at yourself and, and be proud of who you are and I believe that I am also that. Oh, everything. I have to pay for my own school. So Miss America being the biggest donor of scholarship money to women in the world has been the biggest thing for me because, I mean, you know, when you have to pay for your own school and you get out and you have those student loans and Miss Mississippi has graciously covered so much of my debt already. So that's been a total blessing. I think that Miss Mississippi is more than just a title. It's a position of service. And that's what I want to do for the state of Mississippi. My platform is Mentoring Teen Moms. I was inspired by an organization in Lexington, Kentucky, and I just saw how hard these moms were working to turn their lives around and make a better life for their children, and I knew it was something that we needed in Mississippi. It's an incredible opportunity to encourage others and promote children and encourage them to chase their dreams and aspirations and just to be a positive role model and just the opportunity to represent the state in all different walks and all different ways is just incredible. I've been very involved in the Miss America organization for over eight years now. I started out as a teen contestant and I've progressed throughout the years and now I'm competing in Miss. So it's just been a really wonderful experience. It's established a lot of wonderful qualities in me that I've been able to develop over the years that have made me a stronger person, a stronger student, a stronger woman. And so to be able to take those skills and represent our state uh, is probably the biggest honor that I could have. The pageant system was kind of new to me and I was a tomboy growing up and then I got thrown into this system and I learned what a confident woman is and what a strong woman is and when I looked at all the title holders before me I knew that this job is something I wanted to do not only to touch others and learn more about myself but just to make a difference in society in our state. I'm wanting to pursue a degree, um, well, my degree is in kinesiology but I'm wanting to pursue a career in um, pediatrics so if I could go to medical school and then not have any um, debt or not have to pay back any loans that would just be absolutely phenomenal. If, if I can further my education and then pursue my career that would just be phenomenal to me. Scholarship is everything for me just because school means so much to me. I'm a double major in broadcast journalism and I'm also on the physical therapy track. So I have a lot going on, a lot of hours enrolled in um, every semester and scholarships just gives you a little bit of motivation to keep going and to keep your grades up. I would love to be able to represent our state as a role model for young women and really inspire them to become involved in community service and also show them that they can achieve their goals and dreams. I think that Miss Mississippi and the Miss America organization in general is amazing and empowering women and just pushing them to be them, their best selves, whether that's scholastically, artistically, um, philanthropically, and that's why I wanted to be part of the program and hope to one day be Miss Mississippi. Scholarships, of course, are amazing for Miss Mississippi and the Miss America organization. I think it's so wonderful that they're encouraging and empowering young women and giving us a chance to speak out and have a voice about important issues. My platform is called Kids Blossom from the STEM. Uh, as a researcher myself and a woman of science, I really want to share that passion with others and inspire other, specifically women, but other children in general to go into STEM fields. I want to be the next Miss Mississippi so I can promote my platform, get up and get moving. It is so important for everyone to get up and stay active with who they are. And being Miss Mississippi, you're able to promote your platform and show your community and show your state of who you are and what you can be. Like honestly, the scholarship money with this organization, it's an opportunity for us to get to know other girls and um, to learn a lot about each other and a lot about our state and everything. But the scholarship money, it allows us to further our education in a positive light. Well, scholarship dollars really are very impactful on my own life because they allow you to pursue these dreams that you have and go forward in your education and continue to become a better version of yourself. And it's really gives you that opportunity to um, go forward in your life. My platform is called Plug Into Reading and I chose it because I have always been very passionate about reading and Plug Into Reading is um, we do book drives and we donate old and new books to the local schools and the local boys and girls club uh, libraries to help them have good books to read so that they're just just to increase their uh, reading levels and their intelligence levels and just it has all many different kinds of benefits. What do the scholarship dollars this organization provides mean to you personally? Personally it means a chance to go on and get my master's in food science or go and get an internship in nutrition to become an RDN. 
The role to, of Miss Mississippi is a role um, to serve. Um, I have been um, involved with the Miss America organization for seven years now, and um, it's a way to um, better lives, uh, better the lives of others around you. And she's an ambassador um, of Mississippi that represents Mississippi at the national level. And I believe that I could um, fulfill that role effectively and also um, partner with my platform, which is Water for Life, and provide clean water to those in America and also overseas. Scholarship is huge in my family. With three kids in college, it's hard to uh, get the bills paid, but uh, thankfully through this organization, we've had a little bit more wiggle room. I want to be the next Miss Mississippi to promote my platform, heal healthy eating for a longer life across the state of Mississippi, while also still promoting CMNH, Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, Miss America's National platform. Both of my parents are teachers so if you know anything about people who work in education they don't make a ton of money so to be able to give get those scholarships from the Miss Mississippi organization is an incredible blessing because we have two kids that are in college and then my dad is also getting his doctorate so we really do benefit from scholarships. Honestly this has been a dream of mine ever since I was a little girl. I realized that the Miss Mississippi title isn't just a crown and a banner but it's a responsibility and it's a job and with that job comes comes so much hard work and so much sacrifice and that's something that I think that I would be really great at and I would love to make a change in people's lives. I think it's every girl's dream especially living in Vicksburg and watching the Miss Mississippi pageant every year. It's almost a fairy tale to be Miss Mississippi. This is only my second year competing so through just competing last year I've earned close to three thousand dollars and that's a tremendous amount when you start looking at your financial statement and so it's helped my family so much and helped me to continue my education so now because of that I made plans to graduate in 2018 and then hopefully further uh, my education in grad school. I think that I would be a wonderful role model to young girls like myself and Miss Mississippi organization just gets you out of your comfort zone and puts you in different places and different things and it's really exciting and it's fun to be a part of. Through the Miss America organization I don't have to pay for room and board at Mississippi State and I don't have to pay any expenses for books so it is a great opportunity for any young lady. I want to be the next Miss Mississippi so I can have an opportunity to teach women the things I have learned from this amazing organization. Every day I wake up and I learn something new because this organization strives to make me a better person and I want to go throughout Mississippi and teach women that they can be just as amazing through this organization. Like I said, I'm studying biomedical sciences at the University of South Alabama and one day I'm hoping to go to medical school. So that scholarship money would be absolutely amazing for me to use toward medical school one day. These scholarship dollars have meant so much to me. I come from a low-income family and these scholarship dollars helped me pay for my school and I still have some loans left but we still have Miss Mississippi left so hopefully I can earn a couple more to pay off some of my loans. Miss Mississippi is a job that is rewarding and provides a lot of opportunities to grow not only in promoting your own platform but your own self and confidence so that is why I would like to be the next Miss Mississippi. Um, the scholarship is so important. Like I said, I was from a very big family with three brothers. Um, we are all two years apart, and um, therefore scholarship money is very important in our family. And thankfully, because of the Miss America organization, I have not had to pay a penny for school yet. So um, that's one of the reasons I'm also involved in this organization. It's very important and I'm very thankful for what I um, have been able to obtain. I want to be the next Miss Mississippi so that I'm given a larger voice and a larger platform to promote my platform, the Muscular Dystrophy Association, so I can not only work with children that um, come out of Jackson, but also around the, the whole United States. My platform is called Military Mentors. Um, my dad and my, my uncle both went to West Point Military Academy, so growing up, all I knew was military. My dad was um, fighting overseas almost half my life, and it was really hard for my family to really have people there to help us out. So throughout Military Mentors, I'm giving people and families the opportunity to call somebody when they need a hand, helping out with their family or helping out with their kids, and it's just something very dear to me. Personally, they have been amazing and helping me through school. Um, it's a great opportunity for empowering women to finish their education. Tell us, how has your year been so far as Miss Mississippi? One word to sum it up would be incredible. Every experience, every opportunity, 
it's been so incredible. I, I, I was walking in the door a minute ago and I went, this is so surreal. I cannot believe that I was here. It feels like yesterday, but now I'm here on the other side. I'm here as Miss Mississippi. And I'm so jealous of the girls that are in the hallways and that are preparing for being Miss Mississippi because I want to do it again, all over again. This job is absolutely incredible and I wish I could keep it forever. What would be the number one thing that has surprised you about this job? Probably the fact that students, I didn't realize how recognized I would be and how the, the kids say that I'm, I'm famous. Um, I didn't realize how big being Miss Mississippi was actually going to be and doing so well at Miss America by placing fourth runner up has given me even more notoriety. So coming home, walking around town, I walked into the Outback Steakhouse in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, just walking in to have a meal with my family and about four or five people went, oh, are you Miss Mississippi? Mississippi, can we take our picture? Can we get your autograph? And I would have never thought that having this opportunity to be Miss Mississippi or just having the title would bring me that much fame and joy of, of around Mississippi. They say it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and it definitely was. Meeting each and every girl from every state was a great a great experience. I was, you know, you're nervous about it, the so-called pageant divas, but there was not one. Each girl was so kind and so generous and loved their state. We are oddly close. We contact each other every day. We loved each other. So having that sisterhood that they talk about mm -hmm. was so strong and so encouraging. But being on a national stage, singing on national television, was I, it's spontaneous. I get chills thinking about it now, having the opportunity to sing Piece of Sky in front of so many people and live was wonderful. If I could just relive those that one minute and 30 seconds daily, I would. It goes straight back to scholarship, and that's one of the main reasons why I competed in Miss Mississippi was for the scholarship. I want to be a superintendent of a district one day. I want to be our principal of a school one day, so I want to further my education. After Miss Mississippi, I'll be straight back to the books. I'll be finishing one more semester of school, then straight into my master's, and then on forth to working in a school, learning how the classroom works, and then straight on to my doctorate. So school is very much in my future.